In this video, we're going to look at basic vector shapes and some typography to create the hot effect that you see on the screen. So join me as we go through some basic steps that you can do quite easily on your own. Firstly, I'm going to create a new document and I will actually use the artboard function in designer. So that will give me some flexibility if I want to put things to the side. So first off, we will get some text by using the uh, text tool and place some text in. So we're going to use the word hot. Increase the font size so we can actually see it. Now we can pick out a, a font that we like just to start with. Go with that one. And I'm going to add some different features to the text. So first off, I will convert it to curves. And now I can adjust the fill and the gradients and things. So I obviously we're going for hot, so I might make a a heat theme. Maybe we'll go a simple red to maybe red to orange, then to yellow. I'll just fix that one up and then I will drag it across. So got a little bit of variation there. Now I actually want the yellow to be up the top and the red at the bottom. So I will actually use the fill tool and move that from bottom to top and then I've got a lot more control over what I would like to see as a, a hot uh, font. Okay so that's that sorted. Now I can add some of the flame effects and things that I've, I've shown previously in one of the other videos. So I might just make another artboard and make a couple of flames. I'll put a rectangle over over the entire background and I will lock that just so I can get a sense of the, the brightness of the flames that I would like to create. So to create the flames, I'm going to start with a the tier tool. So just with the basic shapes, because it means less work modifying the, the shape of the actual flames. And I'll start with just basic red. Now I can adjust with the tier tool, I can adjust the shape of the flames as well. So I might just do it like that. And then I think I'll copy another one. So I'll just make it a bit smaller, maybe flip it around, maybe like that. And I will make that maybe orange. And obviously you can hold control and just drag to grab a new one, or you can just go control C, control V, that's up to you. So you can make a few. Now we'll create another one. I might flip that as well, which you can do various ways. And I'll make a yellow one. Okay, so you can see I've got a couple there. I'll just get rid of that one. Okay, so to keep it really simple, we'll just have maybe four. And I'll just shrink that one right down. Put that at the top. And I'll make that really bright yellow, almost white. So you can see we've already got what looks like a flame. I'm going to group that and then I'm going to go quick FX and I'm going to blur it. Now I'll go in some more detail with some of the effects later on, but that's a simple flame shape. Now to create variations, all I need to do is go in and modify them within the actual, you can either keep it as a as a uh, shape and just modify the size and width like this, 
or you can convert it to curves and get total customization over it. Again, that's purely up to you. So you can modify quite a lot of stuff just with keeping it as the tier shape tool, just by playing around with these nodes that are pre-made. So I would create some variations and then we'll apply them to the to the actual heading. Now I might actually put that dark background on this page. I should have done that earlier. So I'll place that. underneath and then I will make it black you go black dark gray it's okay as long as you've got something there okay so now I'm going to maybe drag a couple of these across I'll make some more variations in a moment I'm going to place them throughout okay now I'll have a look at some more effects so you can do an outer glow on these sorts of things which might work might not to add a bit more heat you can also get some more custom customization over these things to improve the overall look of the effect you can reduce the opacity everything do a lot, a lot of stuff okay so I'll put these behind the, the text like this I'll actually take that out of that layer okay so now I've got some flames and I've got my text I'd like the text to have the ability to stand out just a little bit and maybe I'll play around with the coloring just a little bit more. So I've got the effects again. I might add an outline to it. Now I can have just a standard black outline or I can do any color. So maybe we'll go with a red or something, see how that looks. Maybe a dark red. I encourage just to experiment. So maybe color dodge, you can see it's doing a, a bit of an interesting effect there. And then I might add some 3D effects. So again, with 3D, you click on the little settings bar and you can go in and play around a bit more. So I might make it three dimensional like this. And I might add more than one light source as well. So we might have sort of a, you can have a darker effect like this. And then you can add a second light source and maybe make it red or yellow or whatever color you like. Um, maybe like that. And I might add a third one and put it underneath. Maybe that can be red like that. Now, I've, looking at, I've got some in front. I've got the letters in front and the the flames in the back. I wouldn't mind adding some some flames to the front. Um, I think it will add something extra to it, but I don't think I want all the flames. I think I just want the, the orange and the yellow. So I'll grab those and maybe make them a bit bigger and then I'll drag them across it's interesting that it lost its effects I'll take the style picker interesting okay I'll just do that again I think because I dragged it out of the folder out of the hierarchy it actually lost the 3d effects so something to keep in mind um, and then I'll actually make those 
actually make those a little bit less visible like that. So I'll get rid of these two. Actually, I'll keep, I'll keep the yellow one and put it over here. Now I've got this, I can actually drag it across. I might flip it and add just some more effects like this. Now there's some texture, it's not a lot of texture. It's all very smooth and that's something that I guess it's indicative of a, of a vector image, but it would be nice to have some texture on the lettering. So I can actually go into the colors and actually I'll go a different way. I'll do it individually. So I'll obviously select a color and then go noise and do that for each color. Just like so. Now it would be nice actually to have an extra color there. So just add some more noise. I'll actually make this one a bit darker. So it looks like almost like charcoal down the bottom. Now I can take that and take this style and just add it to the others. So we're starting to get a little bit of a little bit of heat. The flames look a little bit uh, unrealistic. So I might actually start playing around with the shape of each of the flames as well. So I'm just going to select a few nodes here and actually use this tool where I can transform by just turning it. So that helps save a little bit of time. I'll make this one, just add a couple of nodes. Like this, try and get it to behave like fire. And once you've made these, you can make as many as you like. Might add some nodes there. Flip that. Just experiment with getting it to look fairly realistic. So this is pretty large, probably a little bit too large compared to the rest. Maybe I'll increase the size of this one. Yeah, I'll probably just stretch that. Okay, so that's looking okay. Now I've, I've done all this in a very short time about 10 minutes. I would also possibly go in and make a copy of each of the nodes, or each of the letters and make adjustments of the nodes. I'd make I'd make a copy of each just to use as a backup, um, just in case you don't like the shapes and you just wanna save a bit of time. So then you can make a kind of, you know, hazy effect if you want. You could add a bunch of nodes like this and just kind of move it like it's, uh, it's heat that's you know, making it look hot, kind of like a mirage. You could do this and add another layer and use this as a subtle background version. So you can see the the heat is affecting the, the letters. You can do it to all of them. I'll just drag horizontal lines across. Oops. kind of warping it spend a lot more time doing this I would recommend spending a bit more time just getting it to look right and I'll do something to the T while I'm here just add a few nodes now you could also use the warp tool and you could also maybe cut out sections so you could slice it with the slicing tool 
I would just maybe cut out just tiny sections. So maybe I'll do a little bit here and just show you what I mean. So I'll just cut out a little section there. If I can get to that. There it is, little section. So you can cut out sections just to make it look like it's melting or something. You can put flames on top as well of, on the H. You just keep adding, adding more and more. So you can grab those and place them on top. Not sure how that looks. You can just do it in a subtle way. That. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Uh, hopefully you can see the some of the effects you can use with quite simple functions. I'm not really doing anything too complicated. I'm just really playing around with just basic effects, basic shapes, and not converting anything to raster or anything. So uh, this can sort of, I guess, is the complement to the, the cold video that I did so we've got cold and now we've got hot so I'll have to think about something else but um, this is a great activity to do uh, this idea of typography where the word actually describes what you're creating um, so I appreciate it if you've watched it all the way to the end thank you very much and I might polish this up and uh, see how it looks okay thanks see ya